Hi there. I have a quick question for you. And that is, have you ever wondered if how you are feeling in your skin and how confident you are and how vibrant and energized and radiant you are is impacting the other areas of your life? Maybe your health and your wellness and your confidence level is impacting your ability to be as successful as you'd love to be in your vocation and career, is impacting your ability to create the most wonderful, connected, loving relationship with your significant other, or if you're seeking to attract love in your life, your ability to attract the kind of partner that you would love. And if you're a parent or maybe a grandparent, your ability to be energized and confident and expressing when it comes to either parenting or grandparenting the family members that you hold so dear and so close to your heart. So if you can notice and see that there might just be a connection between your self-care and your health and the other areas of your life, then I have three secrets for you, three simple ways that you can bring more health and more well-being into your life so that you can be the confident, successful, incredible woman that you know that you have been born to be. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jennifer Jimenez, and I am the founder and director of the Health and Wellbeing Division of the Brave Thinking Institute. And here at Brave Thinking Institute, we are the premier transformational training institute. And we empower people to create and live a life they love. That is our mission. And my mission is to help you create a vibrant, healthy, radiant, and successful life. We call this full spectrum success so that you're not just successful in your work, but bankrupt in your health or successful in work, but bankrupt in your relationships. We believe that you can be successful and healthy and radiant and connected and full of love no matter where you are right now, no matter how challenging things might be, there is a power that is breathing you that is far more powerful and you contain so much more potential than any circumstance any situation or any condition. And so I'm curious if you've ever heard of the book, Seven Habits for Highly Successful People by Stephen Covey. And in this book, the seventh habit is to sharpen the saw. And sharpening the saw is recognizing that if we're out and we're just, you know, chopping wood all day long and we don't actually stop to sharpen the saw, our ability to be effective and productive and really get things done in the most efficient, energized way is highly negatively impacted. And so our ability to sharpen the saw is simply to be, as we're going through life, recognizing that the more energy we have, the more fuel we have, the, the more ability to come into our life in a confident way, the higher likely it is that we are going to experience the results that we would really love in our lives. And so I have three simple tools and secrets for you that I have worked with incredible souls like you, women from all over the world, helping them be more radiant, confident, energized, and most importantly, highly successful in every area of their life with simple tools that absolutely work. Like I said, no matter where you feel like you come from. So I want to share a quick little story about a woman named Karen. Karen came to me and she was absolutely feeling you know, burned out. She was feeling overworked. She was feeling underrested. That was negatively impacting her ability to be productive in her area of work and her career. It was impacting really her ability to be patient and playful and loving with her kids. It was certainly impacting her relationships. She was constantly, you know, she was saying, I just, I feel like I'm negative all the time. I'm criticizing. We're bickering. We're not connected. We're certainly not being as intimate as we would love to be in our life. And so I shared with her a few simple techniques and understandings. The first is to know this, how you do anything is how you do everything. Let's say that one more time. This is one to write down. How you do anything is how you do everything. And so if you are having a relationship with yourself that is highly critical, that is judgmental, 
where you aren't nurturing and caring for your needs, you might feel like that's not getting on the other things that are that you're doing. It's maybe not getting on your business and your employees and or work partners and or your productivity, but it absolutely is. You might think it's not getting on those that you love the most, but I'm telling you, it absolutely is. So the first concept is to understand that how you treat yourself, how you treat your well-being, how you treat your health is absolutely impacting every area of your life. And the second concept to understand is that it actually can be simpler than you might realize to make some shifts. And so one of the things that I began to implement with Karen to begin with was what are called keystone habits. These are small, measurable, incremental habits in three key areas that we began just to slowly implement some new beliefs associated with these new habits that began to give her more energy, more vitality, and more confidence that then led to absolute greater success in her business, in her marriage, and in her parenting, which is the three things she really wanted most. So these three areas, these three keystone habits are that what I call the three Fs, the three Fs, food, fitness, and fun, food, fitness, and fun. Now I I, as I began to work with her as her transformational coach and mentor, I began to ask her some questions just about her daily habits. And it came to find out that she didn't actually feed herself any really nourishing food until the evening. And then when she sat down, she was lucky enough to have a loving husband who was making dinner, but he wasn't cooking the things that she actually really wanted to eat. And she had this belief that she was taught when she was little to just clear her whole plate, clean her plate whether she wanted it or not. And so we began to really unpack some of the limiting beliefs that led to that behavior. And we began to install a new belief, which is I am deserving of nurturing and feeding my body with food that I love. And we began to just implement a few simple practices where she would feed herself, you know, something healthy in the morning, a little snack, maybe in the afternoon. And then for dinner, she was willing to communicate to her husband and even create something that she would really love to eat. And that just that piece alone to really look at the beliefs around how she was feeding herself, install a new empowering belief and then begin to nurture and nourish her body temple in ways that felt really good, just created this exponential level of energy that positively impacted her business She became closer with her husband, more energized with her kids. I mean, that one alone was life-changing. The second was fitness. Now she was feeling for whatever reason, um, just really self-conscious about her body. She'd gained weight as a mother. And so she just wasn't moving her body or exercising. And she had this belief that exercise is this no pain, no gain, whip yourself into shape. It's just more work. And the last thing she needed as a business owner and a mother of two children that she was raising was one more thing on her to-do list that felt like work and felt like it was going to be draining on her energy. And so we unpacked that belief. We set that belief aside and we created a new belief that actually what if fitness and or just moving her body in fun ways that was life-giving and energizing could actually be a positive thing. And we started with a simple practice of walking. Now, first it was just five minutes. I said, just let's start with five minutes where you just get up from your desk and you walk around the house or even walk outside if the weather's appropriate, depending on, you know, what's going on weather-wise, but you just take a few deep breaths, you clear your mind and you just move. Now I will say for anyone who isn't doing regular exercise, oftentimes our paradigms or our limiting beliefs will say, I got to work out an hour a day you know, five days a week in order for it to make any difference. Um, And that's actually not true. If you just start with the five minute rule, the the self saboteur that often sabotages new empowering activities that we want to install, will have a heyday with the hour long idea that we're going to do this for an hour. If you just start with five minutes, um, it can be life changing. And that's what it was for Karen. She started with five minutes a day, which led to 10, which then led to daily walks with her husband, where they began to share and connect. And that led to even more intimacy in their marriage. And I mean, the The ripple effect was incredible. So starting with five minutes of movement that you love. Now, if you're someone who's doing a lot of exercise, but it is feeling heavy and hard and like whipping yourself into shape, 
You might install the five minute of fun fitness activity. Maybe it's hula hooping or bouncing a ball or just dancing. My favorite five minute fun movement activity is just dancing, just playing some music, turning that music on and just letting my body move freely. I'm filled with so much energy and so much aliveness and more confidence, which leads to more productivity and uh, more energy, more confidence, all the things that I would love in my life. So we've got the feeding our body, nourishing food that we love and really installing new empowering beliefs about that. Installing new empowering beliefs that fitness and movement can be fun and playful and feel really, really, really good. And then the third is fun to install small incremental aspects of fun. Here at Brave Thinking Institute, one of our core values is fun, literally, to bring in an aspect of fun into every day, into every moment that we absolutely can. And so whether that be just to read um, a, a joke or to watch a funny three minute video or to just go out and throw the ball with your dog or to snuggle up with your kitty or For me, it might be five minutes of fun dancing, playful, silly dancing, but five minutes of fun can make all the difference in the world. So to recap, the concepts that we work with today are how we do anything is how we do everything. And this concept of the Stephen Covey seventh um, habit for highly effective people, which is to sharpen the saw that if we're burned out and we haven't been implementing health and well-being activities into our life, it's going to drain on our business or our work. It's going to drain on our family, on our children, and our ability to do the things that we would really love to do in life and be as successful as we'd love to be. We worked with the three F's food, fitness, and fun, and working with this concept of really taking a good hard look at any disempowering beliefs, install new empowering beliefs, and play with this five-minute rule. What can I do in five minutes to bring some nourishing food into my life throughout the day that gives me the fuel to do the things that I would love to do? And what would I love to eat? Not what I think other people, you know, but really healthy, whole food that I know my body would really love right? And then fitness, movement, five minutes of movement that really activates energy in my mind, body, and spirit. And then the third is fun to recognize that if it's all work in no play, what's this life all about anyways? And so I would love to give you a free gift that would actually help bring this home and bring this to life and to light for you. One of the ways to install new empowering beliefs is through guided meditation. And I've created what's called the confidence kit. Now in this confidence kit, I'm giving you a powerful self-love guided meditation. The more you love yourself, the more likely you are to treat yourself well, as well as a free ebook. Now this ebook has three five minute practices that will help you rejuvenate your mind, body, and soul. Now, if you have loved these tips and you know someone that could really use a boost of more confidence and energy in their life, I highly recommend that you share this video with them, as well as you subscribe. If you haven't yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, that way you get notifications when there's more tips that I could be sharing with you. And we would love to hear from you. I would love to know what are some of the ways that you have implemented implemented easily, more fitness, better ways of feeding and nourishing your soul as well as fun into your life. I would love for you to share in the comments below and go ahead and click right here on this page to download your free confidence kit with your guided meditation and your free ebook. I hope that you make this an absolutely vibrant, healthy day. And to do so, we want to be thinking bravely. So go out there in the world, think bravely, And I look forward to connecting real soon.